Isn't that just the cutest little Hermitar that you've ever seen? Welcome to the second video in my Monster Hunter Holiday Mealtime Extravaganza. Last week we made this adorable little Arzoros cake and now we're gonna make a nice hearty meal that I'm calling the Hermitar Breakfast Bucket. This one is a little bit vague. You can't actually see what's inside the bowl and it looks like there's some sort of potato or biscuit on top. The claws are obviously potato wedges. That might be some sort of crumbled sausage on top with nacho cheese, but you know, we're jumping into unknown territory again. As in the last video with the Arzuros cake, the ingredient list will be down in the description along with the metric uh, measurements. Although there's not gonna be that many because this is sort of a very loose recipe. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so how about we put a nice big hash brown on top, lathered with some sour cream and cheddar cheese instead of this cheese sauce looking stuff. Under we could have some sort of, you know, breakfast mash full of everything that you love about breakfast, you know, bacon, eggs, anything else that you want, the works, basically. And the great thing about this recipe is that you can make it however you want. You, you know, there's there's not a whole lot of measurements for this, so you can just kind of put whatever you want inside. I started by getting everything ready, and then I started with that by getting the filling ingredients ready. And I'm not just saying that because it smells the best. All right, m maybe a little bit. But the first thing we need to do is carve up a potato. What potato? This one. These are for the claws. I just quartered these up. Very simple. Don't cut yourself, please. We'll also need potatoes for the hash browns that we're placing on top of our crabby breakfast bucket. I don't have a food processor to shred potatoes, so I kind of cheated and snagged this bag of shredded potatoes at the store. The inside of the hermitar will be bacon, eggs, and onions. So I cut up a pack of turkey bacon, and I place them on a cooking rack and bake them in the oven for about 15 minutes or so or until they start to crisp up a little bit. I'd also recommend seasoning the potato wedge claws and roasting them with the bacon in the oven. I, I totally forgot to do this, so my potato claws just turned out a bit plain and a bit underdone and not very good. But uh, ju just an a editor's note, I guess. And while those bacon bits and claws are cooking, I cut up an onion while resisting the urge to gouge my eyes out. I hate onions. Well, I like onions in food, but I hate cutting them up. And for some reason, I decided that I needed to cut the entire onion up. Well, we only really need about a third of it, so it's another editor's note. Uh, after that, I took uh, four eggs and I whisked them together until they looked nice and uh, whisked. The next two parts require a skillet, so I decided to make the hash brown top next because it's easier to clean up. Got up my cast iron skillet and I filled it with vegetable oil until the bottom was covered. So while the skillet was warming up, I mixed a handful of those shredded potatoes, a little bit of our egg mixture, and a about a tablespoonish of flour. This will help our potatoes stick together and form the shape of our hash brown. I sort of shaped it with my hands into a, a patty and then I plopped it in the hot skillet. Now this can splatter, so do be careful. And then I just let it cook on each side until it was browned, maybe a couple minutes, maybe three or four minutes or so. So now we got our Hermitar's shell. Let's do the inside stuff, AKA what you can't see. Again, I took a little bit of creative liberty with this, obviously, and you can really put whatever you want in this. Now, I'm a bacon and eggs kind of guy, so that's what I used. Let's start by caramelizing the onions. And side note, I cut up an entire onion. I only needed about a third of it, so I have a copious amount of not properly chopped onions now. I did the same thing with the bacon. I cut up an entire pack of turkey bacon when I only used about a third of it. Lots of leftovers for future breakfast. Not a bad thing. So I heated some olive oil in the skillet, and once it was warmed up, I let the onions cook for about two or three minutes, and then I added the turkey bacon and the remaining egg, and I kept stirring. I'm a firm believer that your eggs should never really be resting while, you're, while they're cooking, so I stirred mine with a rubber spatula until they started to harden a little bit. I even threw in a little bit of cheddar cheese, but this is optional, and I don't know if I'd really recommend it. It's not the best cheese for melting. All in all, I probably cooked and stirred this mixture for about seven minutes or so. Also, it smells really good. I just love the smell of bacon and eggs. You can even throw in some of those shredded potatoes if you want, it's up to you. So once this is all done and you're happy with it, just scoop all of this into a properly sized bowl. Spread a nice layer of sour cream on your hash brown and sprinkle some cheddar cheese on top and angle it on there with the claws and everything. So it sort of looks like, uh, you know, sort of looks like this picture. It is a bit hard to position in the shell. You have to get the claws laying just right. Oh, wait. We're missing one important thing. Now 
Well, it doesn't exactly look the same, but I will say that it has its own unique personality. And the taste? Well, kind of screwed up on some aspects of this. I really messed up on the claws. They were just not done at all, and I didn't season them properly. I should have tossed them with olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, and more, and then roasted them for about almost an hour, really. But that kind of seemed like a waste because, you know, it's only four pieces. Of, it's it's one potato. It's cut into four pieces, so it's kind of silly to cook it for an hour if, if it's only used for the claw. The hash brown on top was better, but not really by much. I think I added a pinch too much flour because it tasted a bit plain. I also should have added some seasonings, salt and pepper, you know, all that stuff. The sour cream and the cheese on top helps, though. But the inside... The inside of this dish redeems everything because the egg and the bacon inside is really good. And I mean, you know, eggs and bacons are some of my favorite foods, so it's no wonder that I like it. But this is just so damn good. There's plenty of leftover bacon and onions too, so breakfast for the next few days will be extra delicious. What I ended up doing is scraping the sour cream and cheese off the hash brown and putting it into my egg and bacon mixture. It really is just a little bit of everything. But the presentation, though, the presentation is definitely on point. I think the Google guys add a little something extra over top of <laughs> Capcom Cafe's version of this of this meal. So thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know what you think about this video down in the comments, and consider bit bopping that like button if you enjoyed it, or hitting the subscribe button if you uh, are not subscribed already. Please consider sharing this with your friends as well, and maybe leave some ideas for other Monster Hunter theme meals in the comments down below. If you do end up making this. Go ahead and tweet a picture of it at me over on Twitter, at GameTacoFTW. Next week, we'll get down to business with one of the staples of Monster Hunter Cuisine.